Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm actually doing my January favorites. I want to do it sooner, but I actually forgot <laughs> because January, I don't know, it was super weird. Like, it felt like it went by so fast, but also it feels like New Year's Day was like so long ago. I don't know, really weird. But um, yeah, and I actually did just film this look. And then I erased the footage by accident. So yeah, I'm going to do my favorites video instead. But if you guys really want to see this look on camera, I can always re-film it. So let me know below. Um, I'll probably post it on Instagram anyway. It was supposed to be a Valentine's look, but I did plan on doing two looks anyway. So I will still do the second one. So um, subscribe if you want to see more videos if you haven't already that's coming up soon so yeah for today's video though it's my january favorites it's gonna be a more casual video and it's less about makeup this well last month because i went on vacation and if you didn't see my last get ready with me i talked about how i didn't use any makeup while i was away except for two products and i will talk about those products again because those were my most used products in the month of january and i really like them so i'll get started and as usual i have some lifestyle products as well so i'll do those first in case you're not interested in those you can just skip to the makeup later so my first product is actually a book this is a book i read while i was on vacation it's called sharp objects and it's by um the author of gone girl jillian flynn i hate when they do this with books and like a movie or a show comes out and then they change the book cover to like a picture from that and then you don't use your imagination as much to like picture what the characters would be like because you see them right here like this is amy adams so now like i just see amy adams when i read this book but anyway i still really like this um just like a disclaimer it is like one of the most disturbing books i've ever read if you like gone girl i mean you probably do like that kind of stuff anyway because it's dark I won't give away too much, but basically, and if maybe you've already seen this show anyway, it's on HBO. Um, it was a limited series. I don't have HBO, so I haven't seen it, but I'm going to get this thing called Crave TV just so I can watch this series because it's, it's good. But yeah, basically Amy Adams is a journalist and she's called to do a piece on these murderers that are happening in her hometown so she has to go back to her hometown and like talk to people and get the story but it gets like really creepy and twisted and weird but yeah if you like creepy and weird then you will like this so i recommend it for that and i read this in like two days it's really like a quick read because you want to know like what is happening so yeah that was my book favorite for january and my next favorite that isn't makeup related is actually a supplement so this is the beach body performance energize this is a pre-workout so if you're not into like supplements like pre-workout and post-workout and bcaa's and all that stuff then you'll probably be like yeah whatever but this actually really works for me because i do my workouts in the morning so i wake up at like 6 a.m if i get up when my alarm goes off and instead of having coffee i take this instead so this is um it's actually lemon flavor so i'll just read what it says here it says helps temporarily to promote alertness and wakefulness and to enhance cognitive performance helps temporarily to relieve fatigue to promote endurance and to enhance motor performance and helps to maintain proper muscle function so for me i take this because 
I am not like an athletic um, active person by nature I have to really force myself to do my workouts I do them every day but I don't always want to do them and I am tired so there is caffeine in this but the difference between like this and coffee is like this gives you a more like quick burst of energy that you actually can feel so if you start your walk you're supposed to take this obviously it's a pre-workout you drink within 30 minutes before exercise so you don't drink this while you're working out you drink it before because it kicks in while you're working out so if while you're doing your workout and you start to feel like really fatigued and like you don't want to do it anymore this actually helps you to keep going i have noticed a big difference when i use this and it cuts down on my coffee drinking because it replaces my morning espresso yeah and it tells you on the back like the recommended dose um it's by body weight so for me i take one scoop of this in 237 milliliters of water so like about a cup of water a bit less and it looks like this so it's a powder it looks like a crazy color but um there's actually no weird stuff in it so so i just pulled up some more information on it because it is a natural health product i don't want to say anything that it's not you know accurate so <laughs> yes so i said that it had green tea so that's where you get the caffeine from but it's a low dose of caffeine and it's just to enhance performance improve reaction time and focus and reduce exercise induced fatigue studies show that it can give you both a mental and physical boost and the other key ingredients are beta alanine so that's an amino acid that helps buffer lactic acid buildup to improve performance and delay exercise induced muscle fatigue so you know when you're working out and it starts to burn that's actually lactic acid that's building up so this product helps to buffer that so that i mean you still feel the burn but you can keep going basically and the other key ingredient is quercetin which is a plant-based nutrient and powerful performance enhancer shown to improve endurance and delay exercise induced muscle fatigue so yeah that's what's in there in case you're interested and just a disclaimer i am a team beach body coach so um not that anyone is paying me or i'm not sponsored um to talk about this i just really like it and i've been using it every day that i do a workout so six days a week and i really do notice a difference so yeah if you're interested in this you can always just google it but um if you want more information about like other beach body products you can always contact me all my social medias are below so yeah if you want to know more and all of the beach body products are um like certified for sport so if you do like uh, competitions or whatever you can use these products and yeah that was it for my more lifestyle-y products now i have my beauty related ones so the first one is actually like sorry i am not comfortable um is a product i was really surprised that i liked it's the humphreys certified organic witch hazel so it looks like this it's a really cute packaging i got this in i think it was walmart walmart or target in the u.s but i have seen it in canada also at walmart or at drugstores because i think witch hazel is becoming like more popular again all of a sudden i'm not sure why but this one says 100 percent natural astringent for face and body gentle cleansing and non-drying so as you guys know i have dry skin i was like interested in witch hazel because someone said i think it was actually like not even a beauty video because i do also watch um video game videos if you didn't know so someone there was like 
I don't know, someone asked her what she uses for her skincare because she had really like clear, nice skin and she said nothing. I only use witch hazel and I was like, what? What is this? So, and then I saw it in the store like a week later so I was like, well, I'm just gonna get it because it was like four dollars or something. So, it's supposed to remove dirt, oil, and blemish-causing bacteria. So when I'm getting a breakout, which is usually like around my chin, um, or if I got something like a reaction to a product, I might get a breakout. Then I will use this and I put it on a cotton pad and I basically just use it as a micellar water. But the reason I really like this is because it actually does work. I had like some big breakouts here. I actually still have like a mark from one of them. I hope it's not gonna become a scar and like around my chin. I actually think it was from um, a Lush product that I'm using, a cleanser, because I stopped using it and my skin cleared up. So yeah, I'll have to see if it was really that. But this actually helped it go away because I also tend to like pick at my skin. So if I see a blemish, I'll like start to touch it and that just spreads the bacteria and yeah, you know how it goes. So this helps to clear the dirt and stuff away. And the reason I love it is because it is true, it's non-drying. So I was scared that after using this, like my skin would be all flaky and dry, but it wasn't. Actually, it looked like really soft and smooth and my pores were like not as big. So yeah, I really like this. If you can tell, like I haven't even used that much. Like it was up to the top here but um yeah the times that i did use it i was really impressed so i don't know if you have to get this brand exactly humphreys um but this one is organic so the ingredients are just distilled certified organic extract of witch hazel containing certified organic alcohol 14 percent and witch hazel extract so yeah I really like this product and it says new so I don't know if it was really new when I got this but yeah that's that and then I have my first aid beauty facial radiance pads help exfoliate tone and brighten these here so I actually have like two left <laughs> if you can see and I'm really sad because I've gone through like four of these. This is the small size. You get 28 pads and it's 1850. And the big size of this, I think you get 60 pads is $40. And it really bothers me to spend $40 on something that you throw away. So like you take one out, you know, like they're these kind of exfoliating pads you take one out you wipe your face and then you throw it out and I really don't want to pay $40 but again I have gone through so many of these that I think I'm spending more like just by buying the small one and another thing that I'm super annoyed about is that Sephora raised the price because I know for certain that the big size was $37. And even then I was like, I don't want to spend $37. And now it's 40. And this was 18 and now it's 1850. So I don't know what they're doing. I'm annoyed, but these are really good. Um, so the reason I, I mean, like I just said, I've had many of these. I'm only talking about them in this favorites video because, um, since coming back from vacation, I did actually get like a sunburn one day, so my skin was peeling and this like really helped to smooth everything out and after like two days, it was fine. So yeah, I really like these. And again, they are fine for dry skin. They don't dry out your skin at all. I go through times where I use like one of these a day and it doesn't have doesn't cause any dryness or irritation or anything but yeah and it does exactly what it says it exfoliates it tones and it brightens so when you do use this product you just like you wash your face then you use this 
and then like you go in with your other products you don't need to use like a toner and an exfoliator and this like this should replace both of those so yeah i really like these i don't know if i'll purchase the big size maybe i'll wait till the vib sale so i can at least get a discount because yeah that is too expensive my next two products which you already know about if you watch my other videos these are the only two products I used while I was on vacation and even before I went on vacation I didn't really I didn't use a lot of the same things because I was doing like different videos so I was testing things for like a lot of them were first impressions so obviously I can't say they're favorites because it's just a first impression so by the way like if you watch those videos and I say like I really like something like maybe wait until I do an update because I could end up not liking it at all like you never know so yeah just a heads up on that but anyway these are my two makeup favorites for January. The first one is my Umber Tint Physical Daily Defense Protection SPF 30 from Drunk Elephant. This here. So like I said in another video, this is not like a tinted moisturizer. It's really a sunscreen. It has a little tint in it, but it's not going to be like a BB cream or anything like that. It's not going to really cover up anything. A lot of people wear this under makeup because it doesn't really tint your skin. But I think what they meant more by tint is that it gives a glow and it is like the product is tinted. Like it's not white. You can see that. Um, but it really just spreads out and gives like it says a natural glow to the skin so it says apply, li apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure reapply at least every two hours I didn't do that and I don't know if many people would use a water resistant sunscreen if swimming or sweating for use on children less than six months of age consult a healthcare practitioner blah 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 uses helps prevent sunburn and the reason I really like this is because it did help prevent sunburn. And the one day that I got a sunburn was the day that I forgot to put this on. And I know SPF 30 is like not very high for some people, but for me it's fine. Because I'm not one that like sits out in the sun for long periods of time anyway. Like even when I'm on vacation, I always try to sit under an umbrella or a tree or anything with shade because if you couldn't tell I am fair and I don't like get a nice tan normally I just burn and yeah I don't like that and obviously it's really unhealthy and there is skin cancer and yeah all other things to worry about pre um pre aging I don't know what the word is yeah anyway but this product was really good and i mentioned in my other video as well that it's a physical sunscreen so um as opposed to a chemical sunscreen so the sunscreen ingredient is zinc oxide i should keep wearing it um even in the winter i don't normally but in the summer i was also wearing this like most of the time without any foundation and it doesn't feel like too oily or anything, which is good also. So I think if you had oily skin, you would still like this product. Um, and then my last favorite, I've already mentioned in other videos as well, is my Tarte Lip Quencher in the shade Nude. It looks like this. It's basically a lip balm, but it does have some color to it and it has a bit of shimmer. It's not sticky. It's lightweight i wore it every day while i was away because i didn't want to do makeup but i also like at night i wanted to look more like i don't know put together so that's when i used this yeah you can barely see it it's like a sheer wash of color but i really like it i think there's spf in these i'm going to check so on the Sephora app, it says that this is a soothing, hydrating lip balm with a sheer tint. 
delivers intense moisture, smooths and softens lips, which I agree. And it's formulated with essential extracts, oils, and antioxidant-rich algae. Um, yeah, what I didn't mention is it does give like a bit of that tingling effect, like a plumping lip gloss, but really like minimal not as much as like buxom or other things like that but there is like a mintiness to it i guess there isn't spf in these i don't know why i thought there was there's jojoba seed oil a bunch of stuff that i can't pronounce yeah there's peppermint oil well there is titanium dioxide in it which is a physical sunscreen as far as I know. I have another one of these to use after I use up this one because I'm almost done. I have the clear one, so yeah, I'll continue to use that. So I know that was a bit repetitive. If you watch my other videos, I already talked about these two products, but really there was like nothing else in the month of January that I could say is a favorite because I didn't use it long enough but i hope you liked this video and if you liked it you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye